really getting into the swing of this rescue team thing. Oh, it's the true calling that I've been waiting for. Elias, come in, Elias. Go ahead, princess. Are you ready to come over to Gull Island? Oh, yeah, that would be fun. I need a break. Wonderful. I'll meet you there. I think you and I should escort Princess from Golden Bay to Gull Island. Uh, why? To keep her safe. We don't want her getting into trouble again. Here we are. Safe and sound. Wait, wait, wait. I need to check the lagoon first. Make sure there's no flotsam, jetsam, or low-flying seagulls. Hey, don't be rude! You two stay on the ground and no flapping! All clear. You have fun. I'll circle the island and make sure that's safe, too. Phew. Now we can relax. Yeah. I think Cruz is getting too obsessed with being a hero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scary straights. Now that would be heroic. To guard the entrance and make sure no silly boat gets dragged into the straits by mistake. A job for Hero Cruiser! Perhaps I should move closer in to make sure nobody slips past me. I don't want anyone getting into trouble. Just a bit more. Maybe too close. Oops. Ah, the water is nice and warm. Yeah, but I suppose I should get back on patrol. Elias! What is it? There's a boat stuck in scary streets. I need to get there. Cruiser? I'll need help. Will you help me, Princess? In scary streets? It's Cruiser who's in trouble. Uh, don't worry. I can handle it. I'm Hero Cruiser. <gasps> Wait for Cruiser to be pushed into the middle of the streets. Then we'll reverse in. I'm scared. Me too. The real hero is scared and does the right thing anyway. Now, you go to his port side. Got him. Let's get out of here. Oh, this is so embarrassing. How are you, Hero Cruiser? It's just plain Cruiser from now on, Elias. I've decided to go back to what I love the most, cruising up and down the coast. Are you sure? I thought you enjoyed being a hero. I thought being a hero would make me special. But now I realize that so many other boats are better at it than me. Even you, Princess. <sighs> Yes, she definitely is. What's that? Could it be an island? I've discovered an island. I'm the first boat ever to see it. I will call it Elias Island. <laughs> yes! I need a closer look. <laughs> seaweed? Just floating seaweed. It's not an island at all. Oh well, I'll discover Elias Island one day. I better head back before it gets late. I don't want anyone to miss me. Ouch! What was that? I should be getting home. No. The rock must have damaged my propeller. All I can do is go round and round and round. Oh. I'm sailing closer to the rock. I better stop. Oh. Safe for 
for now. <sighs> what are you doing, Smifty? Is it a game? <gasps> <gasps> I guess I need to call for help. Being out here is gonna get me in a lot of trouble with Helenor. But I don't have any choice. Helenor! Helenor! Come in, Helenor! Helenor? Are you there? Oh, I must be out of radio range. I really am on my own. Now it's getting dark. Dippy, have you seen Elias anywhere? <laughs> He's not answering his radio. No, I haven't seen him since this morning. Uh, I saw Elias going out to sea earlier. Where was he going? I don't know. <laughs> what is it, Swifty? I don't understand. <laughs> Elias sneaked away? Uh -huh. uh, uh, Towards the sun? <laughs> that one's hard. No, it isn't. I think Elias has gone out into rough, uncharted waters. Uh, Elias would come home before it got dark. Yes. Which means he must be in trouble. But he could be anywhere. How do we find him? Swifty, I know the sea is rough for you, but you have to take us to where you last saw Elias. <laughs> oh. oh no. The current is too strong. My anchor won't hold me. I can't keep this up forever. But if I let go of my anchor, I might drift off and never be found. I've got to try an SOS. Is this where you last saw Elias? <laughs> Good work, Swifty. You head back to the harbor. We'll take it from here. <laughs> let me listen. Helenor! I'm picking up a distress signal. Okay, let's take a look. Dippy, I found him. Helenor, Dippy, am I glad to see you? What's happened, Elias? I've damaged my propeller on that prong. I'll take a look. Your propeller blades are all bent out of shape. We need to get you back to the shipyard, quickly. I've got you! <sighs> Me too! Okay, I'm pulling up my anchor. Phew! <sighs> now, let's go home. Another beautiful day, huh, Big Blinky? Bit cloudy, but still nice and warm. Night sky's been as clear as I can remember the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Big Blinky, that you? <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> wow. That's Trolley, going to pick up some oil for my lens clock. In a hurry, ain't he? That's youngsters for you. <laughs> Keeping you up, am I, Smacky? <laughs> oh, no, I just had a long day's fish. <laughs> <sighs> I can uh, see that. Uh, time I 
Ruth. Back. Catching all this yawning. That big blinky. <laughs> I got the oil, big blinky. You want me to get in touch with Helen or and see if. <laughs> I'll ask again later. Huh? Hey! Big Blinky! Big Blinky! Big Blinky! <laughs> uh, trolley? Why is Smacky going back the way he just came? Huh. Uh, beats me. I thought he was heading for home. <laughs> Sorry, Swifty. Some other time. I'm too tired to play right now. <gasps> Maybe Smacky's lost. Lost? Smacky? He's been sailing that route so long, he could navigate it in the dark with his eyes closed, blindfolded, and in thick fog. So, so what's he doing, Big Blinky? I don't know. By the looks of it, Smacky doesn't know either. I get the feeling he's drifting. Smacky's drifting. Smacky? Drifting? I can't be sure, little Blinky, but maybe we should check it out. Gotcha, Blinky! Elias called me. Oh, and what was he gassing about? <laughs> Smacky's in trouble. He's drifting towards the cliffs near Echo Cave. What dread fuel news! <laughs> Rocky, this is no laughing matter. Smacky's in trouble, and Elias can't rescue him. He called to ask you to go. I was hoping to catch up on a little sleep. You put Elias out of action, Rocky. It's up to you to sort this out. Okay, okay. Keep your top deck on, Princess. I'm on my way. Should be a piece of cake. Hey, this gives me a great opportunity to try out my new satellite navigation system. State of the art. She's a doozy. Oh. In 300 feet, turn to port. Got you, honey. <laughs> In 200 feet, go straight ahead. No way, no way. We're going to take the shortcut. Turn around where possible. Turn around where possible. Will you pipe down? We're almost there. Recalculating route. At last. Thank you. In 200 feet, turn to starboard. No, you did that. I'm going this way. In 300 feet, turn left. Hard of port. Turn around where possible. I told you to pipe down. I'm the boss around here. Elias to Rocky. Elias to Rocky. Rocky here. Over. Panic over, Rocky. You can stand down. Smacky's right here with me. Oh, great. Thanks a bunch for wasting my time. Turn around where possible. Coming about. Ow! Oh. That route is inadvisable. One more beat out of here. Rocky! Wow. You don't look 
Chuko. What happened here? It's a long story. Well, I'll have plenty of time to listen while I get you back to Goliath. Looks to me like you're gonna be there quite a while. Goliath, I... I'm sorry about what happened earlier. Silly trick to play on you. I should have known better. I... I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay, Rocky. But next time, just think before you do something like that again, huh? I will, Elias. Believe me, I will. Turn around where possible. Oh. Sounding is fog point. It's not foggy. Come on, Elias. What's going on, Eleanor? Big Blinky has an announcement to make. Everyone's heading over to see him. Better get going. Swifty? <laughs> Let's go. Gather round. Today, I'm inviting you all to compete in the Cozy Cove Games, the festival of nautical sporting fun. I will be referee for each event, which will conclude with the Gull Island Race. There will be prizes. Oh, I'd like to win a prize. All those interested, come to the jetty and give your name to Trolley. Elias, where are you going? To give Trolley my name. I want to take part in the games. But Elias, you can't be a competitor. We have to be on safety patrol. You will be in charge of setting out all the buoys for each event and make sure the games run smoothly. Oh, I guess so. I am a rescue boat after all. Have to make sure everything is safe. Uh... Not you, Swifty. You can still take part. So, what event is first? It's the water jump. And Trawler has already made an impressive start. Smacky, you're next. <laughs> is mine, I am yeah. the current Gull Island race champion. We'll see about that. Competitors, ready? Yeah. Cruiser, no moving until I say. <sighs> ready, set. <laughs> takes an early lead, but Swifty's very close behind. With Trawler in third place, it's going to be a very close race. Wait a second, that's not right. The racing buoys have broken free and drifted right onto Razor Reef. Elias, come in, Elias. Elias! I heard you, Helenor. We have an emergency. You have to stop the race before they get there. I'm on it. I should have double-checked those last buoys. Stop! Come back! Stop! They're too far ahead. I'll never catch them. But I might be able to head them off. I hear you say danger. 
Yes! The race is heading right onto Razor Reef! Oh, my! Come in, Elias. Now I know what a sardine in a can feels like. Let's get untangled, but far away from Razor Reef. Did I win? Everybody is the winner, including you, Elias. You all crossed the finish line together. I won a race! And you saved the day. Big Blinky will love your purple, Swifty. <laughs> what about you? What have you got? As we never get to see each other, I gotta give him a photograph of myself. Oh, that's a sweet idea. I've got him some extra bright lights for his lantern. Your presents are brilliant. Yeah, they're not the kind of gifts Big Blinky can go look at himself. Where did you find that amazing shell, Dippy? Gil and Gull found it for me at Cozy Cove. Ding dong! Ding dong! <laughs> My present for Big Blinky! Oh, it's beautiful! <gasps> it's my old bell! I found it in Goliath's workshop! It's Big Blinky! Hold on! I'll switch on my speaker! I've just had an emergency call from Trawler! He's found Elias stranded on Razor Reef! Try to move as little as possible, Elias. I'm trying, Trawler. I'm really trying. We have to move fast before the tide washes Elias right up onto Razor Reef. What's the situation, Trawler? He's stuck on sharp rocks, so he has to be carefully lifted. One false move and his hull's gonna rip. I'm not strong enough to lift Elias for more than a few minutes. How about a lift and shift operation? Before we start, you gotta offload that lump of metal, Elias. But it's Big Blinky's present! There's no way I can lift you with that thing dangling from your winch. Oh, Elias, it's you or the present. Give it all you got, Eleanor! Well done, team. Lay him down slowly, Eleanor! Fight the rocks! Oh, 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 thank you! Thank you, everybody! <laughs> 
Come on, let's get out of here. But what about Big Blinky's present? Forget about it, Elias. <laughs> I never imagined anything like this. Thank you, Smacky. It's a wonderful present. They're all wonderful presents. I'm sorry I haven't got you anything for your anniversary, Big Blinky. I did find a present, but I had to leave it at Razor Reef. I'm just happy you're here safe and sound, Elias. That's the best gift you could give me. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's hear it for our hero. Happy anniversary, Big Blinky! Swifty, not yet. We've got to count to ten. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Shh, Swifty. Listen closely for any sounds that Dippy might make. Come on, that's Dippy. <laughs> that's Dippy blowing bubbles. Found you, Dippy! Swifty tracked you down! <laughs> so now it's your turn, Swifty! Go and hide, Swifty. Dippy and I will find you by the noises you make. You got it? Swifty, and if he stopped playing the game, then something must have happened to him. We'd better widen the search and look outside of the cave. Yeah. Clear the entrance. Now I know why Swifty was suddenly so quiet. He's got no power. I only hope I've got enough power in my engine to charge Swifty up. 
I'll guide him alongside, Elias. Thanks, Dippy. Secure Swifty. Power him up. Is it working? We'll soon know, Gil. Can you make sure he stays alongside until he's fully charged? We'll keep an eye on him, Elias. <laughs> Stay right where you are. Don't you move, Swifty. Not until Elias says otherwise. Let him go. He's powered up. If Swifty continues to act like this, he'll be as flat as a pancake in no time. Calm down, Swifty. <laughs> you know, Swifty, if you'd done what I told you to do in the first place, none of this would ever have happened. <laughs> Swifty says thank you for rescuing him. That's okay, Swifty. Just be more sensible from now on. <laughs> Swifty sensible? That'll be the day. One good thing has come out of this adventure. What? what? We're back at Echo Cave. Five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, <laughs> ten. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Swifty. Let's find our friends. Morning! Today's the day. Today's the day for what? <laughs> you know, your checkup in Goliath's workshop. Oh, but that's ages away. No, it's not, Elias. Your full body checkup is in precisely two hours. Two hours? That's really soon. Oh, I love Goliath's workshop. All those drills and hammers, the saws and sanders, and... Mm. You can't beat the smell of fresh paint drying on the breeze. It's all right for you, Dippy. Goliath's workshop is like home to you. You're in and out of there every day charging your battery. Well, I've got serious work to do at sea. I certainly can't waste precious time in Goliath's workshop. Go! Whoop. Sorry, Dippy. I've got things to do. But Goliath's waiting for you, Elias. I'm a rescue boat with big responsibilities, Dippy. It's my job to make sure that no one gets into trouble. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Come on, Swifty. <laughs> you can't leave, Elias. What will I tell Goliath? Tell him I'm on a rescue mission, of course. Oh, dear. What's Goliath going to say now? Hi, Divi. Where's Elias? Uh, he got held up, Goliath. Well, I hope he's not going to keep me waiting too long. I've got him booked in for a full body checkup. It's an all morning job, and I need to get started right now. Okie dokie, Goliath. I'll go find him right away. Yeah, we got away, Swifty. <laughs> I'd rather be here than in Goliath's workshop. <laughs> what would you do if you found treasure, Elias? Well, you've got everything you want. Friends, home, happiness, <laughs> me. You're right, Dippy. I have got everything I want. But if I found treasure, 
I'd spend it on my friends. <laughs> Look! It's a shipwreck! Treasure! Are you sure, Elias? Of course! Ooh, I'll take a closer look! So, is it treasure? Well, it was murky down there, but I could see some flashes of gold and silver. I knew it! There were some planks of wood, too, Elias. We could land it on Big Blinky's rock. Yeah! yeah. This is the difficult part. Wind my line around the wreckage so it stays in one piece and doesn't fall apart once we start towing it. Okay, Elias. All secured. Take it away. Not so fast, Elias. Can you follow us underwater, Dippy? Just like Big Blinky said. Stay close behind, just in case anything falls off. No bouncing, Swifty. <laughs> Glad to be here, Big Blinky. I'm relieved to see you, Elias. Come on, let's see this treasure of yours. Can we unload it into your container trolley? With pleasure! Ready and waiting! Sorry, Elias, but that's not treasure. No way! New pirate's gold and Spanish doubloons. Just some chrome work. Shame. Oh. It must be Rocky's delivery. The one he's been waiting for. It's big and shiny, and it certainly looks very expensive. You see, Elias, it is somebody's treasure after all. Not yours or mine, but Rocky's. And then we better tell him to come and pick it up. How am I ever going to get those crates back onto my underside? <sighs> We're free to play and play all day long! <laughs> Nearly there! Oh, at this rate, I won't get home till lunchtime. Wow! Where did they come from? Maybe somebody's been fishing. With feet that big, it would have to be a giant. <gasps> the Windeville giant, just like Smacky said. Oh, don't be silly, Dippy. <laughs> Even Swifty thinks that's the silliest thing he's ever heard. If you don't think it's the Windeville giant, then who else could have made such huge footprints all along the beach? Somebody who likes walking in thick, squishy mud. What if something big and scary has taken over Windeville Island? What if it's waiting to catch us and keep us here? What if you stop panicking, Dippy? 
Ooh, I'm not staying here a minute longer. If you think there's something scary on Windeville, we have to find out what it is. You can find out. I'm going back to Cozy Cove. There's no reason to be afraid, Dippy. Oh, but I am, Elias. Look at us. We're on the water. Whatever it is, it's on land. If it gets too scary, we can always sail away. <laughs> hey, Swifty, wait for us! There's a lot of messages going back and forth between Big Blinky and Little Blinky. I hope everything's all right. You seem down in the dumps this morning, Little Blinky. Oh, I am down in the dumps. Elias and his friends are having fun, and I'm stuck here on this rock. It's a privilege to be a lighthouse, little blingy. You are the gatekeeper to the community of Cozy Cove. You're the one who has to be still and observant in order to see what's going on while everyone all around you is in a hurry. But sometimes, Big Blinky, I just want to play. <laughs> Morning, trolley! <laughs> Slow pokes. Oh, we got held up by Smacky. What's going on up there? Big Blinky's talking to Little Blinky. They've been talking nearly all morning. I can't hear anybody talking, trolley. <laughs> of course you can, Princess. They're communicating by flashing with their lights. You mean they're talking with the lights? That's right. Look. There's a long flash followed by two short flashes. And another long flash. Oh, but we don't understand what they're saying to each other. Hold on. Big Blinky and I have connecting radios. You can listen to what they're saying to each other. I can't play all day like Elias. Elias is a rescue boat, too, you know. Suppose so. Don't be sad, little Blinky. You're doing a great job. Okay, Big Blinky. <laughs> you just scared the fish away, Swifty. <laughs> can't play all the time. Come and watch the fish, Swifty. They're beautiful. All different colors and shapes and sizes. <laughs> if you don't want to watch the fish, please go and play somewhere else, because we do. Okay, Swifty? <laughs> wow. Look at that one, Elias. Here goes Mr. Shuttleworth. Yeah, he's only happy if he's making noise. <laughs> nice day for a swim. <laughs> I can recognize that engine anywhere. For Rocky, of course. <laughs> I know, you're not the only noisy one around here, Swifty. Sounds like he's going away. Good. Let's hope he didn't scare away all the fish. Oh, look, there are some pretty silverfish. Big ones, too. <laughs> Just look at him go. What's that silver thing, Dippy? It doesn't look like a fish. Maybe it's seaweed. <laughs> Okay, go take a look. <laughs> Good try, Swifty, but it's too deep for you. I'll take a look. It's not a fish, Elias. So what is it? 
It's a big, shiny thing stuck in the sand. Well, the fish are having a great time swimming in and out of it. Let's ask Princess over. She's missing out on all the fun. Good idea, Dippy. Eleanor, any sign of him? No, nothing. Guess we'll just have to keep looking. Roger that. Hey, Elias, how's it going? I know you're no great shakes in the fishing department, but that... Uh... You don't happen to have a herring on board. No, uh, sorry. I I'm kind of busy right now. Ah, that's the trouble with boats. Always too busy to bother with us gulls. Yeah, first trawler, then Elias. You'd have thought they could... Trawler? Did you say trawler? Yeah, trawler. Big, grumpy old boat, no herring. Have you seen him? Sure, he's over there, behind Razor Reef. Grumping away like a grumpy old grumper. Jippy, come in, please. I might need your help. Meet me at Razor Reef, fast as you can make it. Troller? Elias! What kept you? So, uh, what's the story, Troller? I had to heave to and drop anchor. That storm was a doozy, but, um... I... I think I got my anchor stuck. Hey, Elias! You found him! Yeah, uh, Gil and Gull told me where he was. I came as quick as I could, Elias. Thanks, Tippy. It's a good job I called you. It looks like Trawler's anchor's stuck on something, so could you go down and take a look? On my way! Elias, looks like there's a couple of big rocks that need shifting. like that for days. I only hope you've got his new wheels on board, Elias. You'll be pleased to know that Elias is here with our deliveries. <gasps> yeah! I'm getting the wheels! I'm gonna get 
Everybody, I've got to unload first. Light bulbs for Big Blinky. <gasps> yeah. Window cleaner for Big Blinky. Yeah. And something for Trolley. Elias? I'm sure Crane loaded your new wheels, Trolley. So, where are they then? <laughs> Good morning, Swifty. <laughs> Where's Troller? Maybe he got called away on a job. Try reaching him on the radio. Elias to Troller! Elias to Troller! Come in, please! The radio's down. Of course! Goliath's fixing them, remember? If I can't make radio contact with Troller, I'm going to look for him. If we go looking for him, we won't be able to play. We don't want to waste our second play day. <laughs> you stay and play! If you're going... I don't know, Gil. Not Gull Island. <laughs> Do you know where we are, Trawler? Uh, looks like we drifted out to sea. Shiver my timbers! I'm supposed to be babysitting. Don't worry, Trawler. I bet Elias and his friends aren't even awake yet. We've searched everywhere, Elias. Uh -huh. I'm sure Trawler is working, just like Tippy said. If he was called away, he would definitely have told us before he left. Maybe it was an emergency, and he left in a hurry. I'm a rescue boat, and I've got a feeling something's wrong. I'm going back to Cozy Cove to check if Trawler's there. So much for two playaway days. Better to be safe than sorry, Princess. Oh, they're not here. Try and make radio contact with them. All Cozy Cove radios are down for the holiday. Goliath's working on them. Maybe they're in one of the coves. No, you'd hear them playing a mile off. They're probably playing a quiet game, like hide and seek. Yeah, come on, let's take a look. They're really and truly gone. They must have taken off while we were asleep. Oh, we got to find them. Elias? What on earth? Oh, just a little engine trouble. Uh, Crane, uh, could you lift Rocky's stern out of the water, please? Lift me out of the... <laughs> you want to go on another trip to Big Blinky's Island? Oh, okay. Get lifting, Crane. Elias, how long do I have to hold him like this? Just until he runs out of fuel. Then we can get Goliath to take a look at him without him zooming off. There you go, Rocky. As good as new. Well, almost. 
<laughs> Rocky, your engine. I know. <sighs> the new kid he got at Ice Point was faulty. So, until I can get him a replacement, I've loaned him an engine I found in the back of the shed. Rocky, don't you have something to say? Uh, thanks, Goliath. You too, Elias. <laughs> <laughs> It was just around here, Trawler. Uh, uh, it's the fish! Help! <laughs> Great work, Dippy! He fell for it, hook, line, and sinker! Now let's go tell him what the fish really was. Ah, Trawler, uh, did you see it too? The giant fish? Uh, yes, but I didn't panic. I just came back to, uh, to make sure you were all right. <laughs> oh, we're all all right. There's nothing to be afraid of. Except a giant monster fish. Show them, Dippy. Oh! It's come to get us! <laughs> no, it hasn't. It was just me blowing bubbles. Elias thought of it. Oh, did he? We couldn't find any sign of the mother bird, Elias! Maybe she'll turn up later. In the meantime, we've got to get this egg wrapped up. It's been through a lot. I've seen some monsters in my time, but this egg beats all. Uh, careful, troll! Ah! Ah! Oh no! Yeah. I got it! Ah! I got it! Oh, ah! oh, oh my foot! Oh, Ow! Oh, you don't got it! Ow! Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's no egg. It's a rock. All that for nothing? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. It wasn't all for nothing. That egg rock was stopping Trolley from getting around. If we hadn't moved it. Uh, yeah! He'd be stuck. Maybe forever. Yeah. So if we hadn't been around to help. And I found it! Yeah. Oh, know something, Gil? We're heroes, that's what we are. Yeah. Heroes. <laughs> Thank goodness. We need to work fast before a major disaster happens. It's all up to you, Dippy. Here I go. <laughs> That's it, but the container still isn't moving. I'm sorry, Swifty, but we're going to need your ducks, too. It's important. <laughs> Thank you, Swifty! Let's hope this works. We did it! It worked! Now let's get this container to the shipyard and out of harm's way. Swifty, I didn't have to use all of the ducks to float the container. There was one left over. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Rescue team, let's go home! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>